Yeah. Yeah. That was a good. That was a good piece of log. That was a good piece of log. All right. So you guys now are talking about Sasquatch. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Why is he here? We thought we well, heard him. Yep. Why? You know what? I've I've always. You know, obviously I'm from the UK, and I've always heard these stories about Sasquatch, so, yeah, I know. I guess I'm interested in seeing what some Canadians think about it. And Would you want to see one yourself? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I mean, if Sasquatch exists, then yeah, for sure. But would your approach be like, holy shit, it's a Sasquatch, or would you be like, Harry, Harry the Hendersons, I've been looking for you forever. Yeah, I'm assuming he wants to live in my house. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get a little car accident, and then all of a sudden he's gonna come live with you and Christy and the family, right? Yeah. Maybe there's a chance you can blast something. Ernie, don't give Daddy any ideas. I could not face two stuffed bunnies. <sighs> Did I bring my rifle this time? Did I? No. You're right, George. We will always remember this as our first camping trip when Ernie killed something, and you didn't. Like knock on the door, like Christy. This is a Sasquatch I met in the wild. Yeah, you know, yeah, I can see that happening. It. Yeah, Me I can. I can see a Sasquatch happily settling in Toronto. Yeah, wouldn't be a problem. A simple grooming, I think, that's possible, <laughs> right? But you got to watch all the shedding in your house. What if we've just rendered an entire species extinct? One of a kind. This thing could really be worth something. I don't believe you just said that. Oh, come on, man. It's all in how you look at it. 